Hello, everybody. This is Red Nichols. And for the next 15 minutes, the Five Pennies and I have some music for you. And Leo A. Hoig, the director of civil and defense mobilization, will be here with an important message. So stand by, America. Here's your stars for defense. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's your stars for defense with Ray Block and his orchestra, yours truly, Jay Jackson, and today starring Red Nichols and the Five Pennies. Stars for Defense is presented by this station every week as a public service in cooperation with the Office of Civil and Defense Mobilization to acquaint you with the steps you can take to provide safety for yourself, your family, and your neighbors. The National Plan for Civil and Defense Mobilization assigns responsibility to each of us in time of war. Director Hoyg will explain this more fully in a few minutes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, an almost legendary musical group makes their first appearance on Stars for Defense. Red Nichols, the Five Pennies, and that's a plenty. Red Nichols and Company, Stars for Defense is especially proud to have you with us. Well, Jay, we're mighty happy you ask us over. Red, with millions of Americans flocking to see Danny Kaye doing your life story on the screen, with your record albums up among the best sellers, and your group in demand for all the top TV shows, it's easy to see why we'd ask you, but it's not so easy to see how you'd find the time. Time is something we can find when the cause is an important one like civil defense. Besides, we enjoy playing, and that's what we're here for. That you are, Ed, so take it away. Okay, here we go with the Johnson Rag. <laughs>
Thanks, Red Nichols. Now it's my privilege to introduce Leo A. Hoig, our nation's director of civil and defense mobilization. Mr. Hoig, could you give us more information about the national plan for civil and defense mobilization and what it means to each of us? Every right carries with it a responsibility. As citizens of a democracy, each of us has certain obligations toward his government. Similarly, the government has obligations toward the citizens. An example is providing for the common defense. The National Plan for Civil Defense and Defense Mobilization clearly explains the civil defense responsibilities of the government and the personal responsibility of the people. In case of enemy attack, your government should be ready to protect you, your property, your rights. But it cannot hope to protect you if your home is not prepared and your family has not learned the facts of home preparedness. That's where you come in. The information is available from your local civil defense office. It's your job to get it and to learn it. While governments are preparing to help you, you must be prepared to help yourself. Thank you, Mr. Hoig. We'll get back to red nickels and five pennies in a few moments. First, Ray Block and his 18 wooden nickels demand equal time. Ray? Thanks, Ray. Red, we sure enjoyed your new album, Dancing with Red Nichols and the Five Pennies. How about some of that foot-tapping music right now? Uh-huh, Jay. Just try tapping your feet to the sound of fidgety feet.
For the past 15 minutes, you've been listening to Stars for Defense, a transcribed feature presented as a public service by this station every week in cooperation with the Office of Civil and Defense Mobilization. Today, we brought you Red Nichols and the Five Pennies, to whom we extend our sincere thanks for a fine performance. And Red, how about a final word? Sure thing, Jay. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll remember what you heard earlier. The National Plan for Civil and Defense Mobilization is designed by your government to help you help yourself and save yourself. Thanks again, Red. Now this is your host, Jay Jackson, saying so long and inviting you to join us again next week for some more good music by Ray Block and his orchestra and another famous star on Stars for Defense.